so this is Lo-Fi Bliss. And what Lo-Fi Bliss is, is a reverb that I threw a bunch of my favorite Lo-Fi features onto. Um, and then I gave it a very configurable uh, routing scheme. So these two buttons control the routing, and the routing can either send the reverb into the lo-fi effects, uh, which is what I was playing with. It can send the lo-fi effects into the reverb. It can send the reverb into the lo-fi effects and give you a wet-dry mix that is separate from those. And it can send the lo-fi effects into the reverb, again with a, a separate dry path. So I'm going to go back to the, the first one, which is the reverb into the lo-fi. And what I'm going to do is slowly remove effects. So on the the in the middle we have a set of pitch controls, which is a wow control and a flutter control. Then we have this option that I've called degradation, but what it really is, uh, you can mix how much is is sent through it. What it is is I just used a lo-fi cab sim. Uh, to create a, a filtered effect. Uh, and then uh, on the end I have um, an effect I call corrosion, which is essentially a VCA modulated by a random module um, with some CV filtering. And at low levels it creates sort of a back on a sort of grainy uh, tape quality uh, but you can also degrade it much much more corrode the tape much much more so it's almost like a bad transmission or uh, a heavily worn tape keep pushing it until so that's corrosion That's the degradation. Uh, the, the reverb is just a reverb light, so there are controls for the reverb mix, which affects the reverb mix in all of these configurations. Uh, when it has a dry signal path, there is a pre-delay, which goes up to 500 milliseconds, which is quite long. Um, but it allows to... I, I like a long the option for a long pre-delay um, because it, it gives you the opportunity to to create sort of a haze that follows your playing. Um, and then the, the foot switches, this one will ramp the corrosion up to max, even if it's off. So right now corrosion is off.
me take off the dry signal. This one will remove the pitch shifting if it's on um, and create sort of a little bend sound. And this one maxes out the the decay. Uh, the modulation section is pretty robust. There's a, a feedback amount which allows you to create sort of flanged tones. Which may not be desirable, uh, but it can be turned off. I, I like it when it's behind uh, the other effects. So when you have degradation and, and corrosion on, the feedback can add a sort of interesting resonance to the sound. Um, but I'm going to turn it off. There is a wow section. All the wow controls are in pink. I think that's pink with depth, rate, and then this thing called predictability, which controls at, at one, it behaves pretty much like a sine wave. Uh, and at zero, there's much more randomness applied to it, although the shape is still sine based. Um, it's much more like the random modulation in my degenerate game patch. Um, and then you can invert the signals. It's a stereo patch so you can invert the signals uh, on either side when this button is turned off they're inverted and it just gives you a, a much wider chorus sound uh, if you're using this for vibrato because there is a mix control you probably don't want to do that Uh, and then there's a, a flutter, which just has depth, uh, but it can introduce flutter distortion. And you can, you know, add those however you want. The um, corrosion effect will affect the overall volume of the patch. Uh, here is the gain control for the patch. I didn't have, the CPU was tricky, so I didn't want to put a control on the front page uh, just because of the CPU cost, but it's very easy to access. Uh, and in fact, if you ever wonder where the gain control is on 99% of my patches, it's usually uh, right there at the top right corner of the second page or whatever page is past where I expect you to, to use controls. Um, so I brought up my degenerate game patch because I was working on a revision for it when I came up with the con corrosion control for this patch and I had enough CPU so I applied it. And I'm gonna do a quick overview of degenerate gain version 2. Basically uh, this is the result of some feedback from people who tried the first one. Uh, in particular, Mean, Median, Moj. Uh, Mike was huge in helping me fine-tune this. Um, the real additions here are across the bottom you have a new control, which is corrosion. which is modulatable. Let me 
turn up the moderate. You can get it real gnarly. And corrode things. Um, and it works, you know, the same way all the other controls do. I'm going to turn it down for now. I adjusted the delay times um, in particular to give better chorusing effects. Um, and I, I think it sounds really, really close to, to the first patch, but uh, I think it, it probably sounds much better when you're mixing in dry signal for a, a chorus sound. Um, The other addition was instead of having a three-way switch for the noise, there's now a noise level and the noise should track your playing. Um, so it's not quite as noisy all the time. Also, two options of noise. There's a, a pink noise that's created with some flutter distortion. Um, that was based on a lot of impact uh, feedback from from Mike. Um, and then there's the original white noise. That is Degenerate Gain version 2. Um, 